Hi, this is Lou and in today's video I'm going to be doing some lino printing. I'm going to take you through the process of uh, making some prints, preparing them and then kind of getting them up onto my Etsy shop. I have not printed anything for a very, very long time. I actually made a couple of videos last year um, showing you how to make a lino print and I did one of my little illustrated letters um, and since then I've hardly done a thing. So I thought it was about time to get that out again and uh, yeah I kind of got derailed a little bit by the, the whole global pandemic thing so I'm kind of back on track now. In fact because I hadn't uh, printed uh, in so long I actually loaned out my little X-Cut Express to a friend who wanted to try it out and um, so he had it for a few months so I've got it back and I am motoring on. In fact I've managed to print two prints this week so I've got uh, these ones which are another in my little alphabet series with uh, ferns and forget-me-nuts. I actually carved this block last year and then didn't get around to really doing any more than kind of proofing it. And then I just fancied working on something and I took kind of Valentine's Day as a bit of a theme so I, I did in the same kind of style I did a print with a heart with some flowers in it little daisies and some leaves and yeah quite uh, I wanted to create something quite decorative and quite detailed um, so yeah so I printed this in uh, in grey on white um, uh, but I also did a kind of a valentine's version on this beautiful red scarlet card as well so um, I actually filmed the process of carving this block so I'm going to show you some bits of that and I'm going to take you through the process of printing it as well. So yeah, so do let me know if you want to know a little bit more about lino printing because there's lots of things that I'd, I'd love to be able to share with you, um, like how to print in different colours and how to kind of get different effects using multiple blocks or using the same block and cutting it into a, over and over again. Uh, so yeah, so there's lots of fun things like that to do with uh, lino printing. So uh, those are things that I could share in future videos. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you'd like to see. So let's get on and I'll show you some of my process over the last couple of weeks. So I've got my design that I've worked out in my little sketchbook and I've cut out a piece of lino to size. So this is 13 by 18 centimetres. So I'm going to sketch out the heart and then the kind of the big area where the flowers and leaves are and then transfer that onto the block. Okay, so there's my traced image. There's a few bits here where I kind of changed things and yeah, decided to make the flowers kind of point down rather than pointing up because I thought it looked more, yeah, looked more natural that way. So, um, so yes, I've just got to remember to keep it that way when I transfer it onto the lino. Right, so I've put a cross on here so I can line my heart up with the centre of the page. I think that looks about right. And then I've got some carbon paper. So now I've traced the whole thing, just going to lift that up and just check everything's in place. And there's a little bit missing there, Mr. Petal. Let's go in and do that one. Yeah, I think pretty much everything else is in there. There's a leaf there, like that. Um, nothing else I can't fill in later. So yeah, that's looking good. Right. So now, now I'm going to draw it again. This time I'm going to do it in pen and on the on the block. Oh, 
Okay, I think there's enough information there to start carving. Oh, hang on, I missed a one. I missed a flower. There we go. Do that one. I'll probably have missed other things but uh, yeah I think that's looking all right so now it's time to do the carving I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail about exactly what I'm doing uh, because I've done another video before on how I make lino prints and it's pretty much the same as that um, I will talk a little bit about it but if you're interested in uh, using, you know, knowing what techniques I'm using and how exactly I'm going to cut it and print it and everything. I will put a link here to those two, well, the first of those two videos so that you can go and look that up. Um, but I'm going to say that I use three different tools, a very fine V to get the fine lines, a slightly bigger U-shaped tool uh, to carve out some detail, and then I've got a, a reasonably big one for clearing larger areas. So yeah, so all I'm going to do is cut away everything that's grey.
So here are the proofs that I took. Um, so this is just on really cheap paper. Um, and each time I'm kind of going through and noting where all the little bits are and tidying it up a little bit and then printing it again. And you can see it looks a little bit cleaner, but there are still a few bits. Uh, this one I started going through, I don't know if you can see that. With this one I started going through and putting rings in pencil where I found all of the marks and then ticking them off when I got to that bit. And then by this point I'm quite happy with it. There was a few little things that I changed from here but this is pretty much what the final image was and then I started moving on to the like better quality paper. So I've printed the gold version of this now and while the I've got the little registration device thing set up on the uh, the bed of the press I, I thought that I'd um, do this in grey as well. Um, I do want to get onto this print uh, which is another block that I've carved. I actually carved this one nearly a year ago and uh, yeah I just it out again and try to tidy it up a little bit and I'm going to give this one a go as well and that's going to take a little bit of um, tidying up and proofing as well um, but hopefully I can get both of them done this week and then both up on Etsy at the same time so I'm going to put this one in grey now My little paper fingers because my actual fingers get covered in ink so I can use these to keep my paper nice and clean. That looks quite nice. So now it's time to start this whole process again with the second block. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to take the registration sheet down and then I'm going to do a test print, make a mask and then clear up any areas of the, the block that are printing and making marks where I don't want them. If you're wondering why I'm going forwards and backwards, you don't need to, you just need to do it through once. It's just it's much easier for me to deal with it on this side. There we go, there's our test print, a little faint, but that's always the case of the first one. And then, yeah, a few areas here to clean up. One way to do this is just to look for any areas that got inked up with the roller and then carve them away. Thank you. 
Okay, that's a lot better. Yeah, see, it's all cleaned up around here now. And it looks a lot sharper. So now, well, we that's my gold. I'm going to print the F prints in gold. So it's a couple of days since I printed, so now I'm going to take a good look at each of my prints and work out which of them are good, which of them are good to go, um, in which case I'll sign them and um, if any aren't then they can go in the rejects pile. So this black paper is very textured and some of them came out a little faint like that one. So I'm going to not include that. Um, that one's kind of borderline. I have to make a decision whether it's okay or not. I think it is. That one's okay. So yeah, that one is maybe a little faint as well. So I'm going to um, put that one to one side. So my prints are now finished, the ink is dry, it takes a couple of days and um, I've signed the ones that I feel are good enough to sell. Uh, they're not all identical because they're all handmade so they're all slightly different um, but I quite like the, you get like bits of texture in some of them and uh, yeah I like that the, you know, that handmade element of them. I will put a link to uh, where you can find these um, on my Etsy shop. And I'll also put some links down below to where I get some of my Lino tools and equipment and stuff from as well, uh, which you might find useful. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have, um, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know, leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to see more videos uh, like this, then uh, do subscribe to the channel. And if you press the little bell, you should get a notification every time I post a new video. I post at least one a week and then some weeks you get a sneaky bonus extra one. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.